Um, and I have this free printable here that I've already traced on um, kind of the last page of Hosea, because this is for Hosea 14, verses 5 through 6. And um, this in this we have an olive tree and a cedar tree, and it's pretty intricate, and I thought it might be a little tedious to watch me trace this out and then line over it. So I've already done the tracing and the lining um, for this image. Uh, in the free printables, there are various sizes depending on what Bible you are using, and you could certainly change orientation if you wanted. You could put a tree on like one side of one page and on the opposite facing page you could put the other tree and do word art I mean, you can play around with this however much you want as you start to watercolor remember you're going to put down uh, your lightest color first and then work to add shading with darker colors so like i said this is hosea 14 uh, verses 5 through 6 and it goes cedar trees olive trees flowers um, that's kind of like you know what we're drawing here I will be like the dew to Israel. He will blossom like the lily and take root like the cedars of Lebanon. His branches will spread and his splendor will be like the olive tree. His fragrance like the forest of Lebanon. So um, in this, uh, yeah, I thought this, this whole chapter was really nice for Lent because Lent is a time of repentance. Now, if you're not familiar with that word, it simply means to turn from our sins, acknowledge that we have done wrong, and ask God for forgiveness. So not just saying, like, I'm sorry, but to actually acknowledge that we've done something wrong, uh, turn and ask God for forgiveness, and then to actually turn from our sins and do things differently. Um, you'll notice that as I'm, as I'm shading on here i'm picturing where it would be darker under the canopy of the branches and it would be darker on the side that's kind of tilted down where the sun would hit more on the part that's pointed up so just kind of picture where the light's coming from and what might stand in its way um, as you do some shadowing here on the trunks of your trees so in this uh, season leading up to Easter, we are reminded of the price that Jesus paid on the cross for our sin. And we're drawn to repentance and holiness. That's kind of what Lent is <laughs> all about, right? So in Hosea, though, it talks about what God will do when we repent. Um, it's the beginning of chapter 14 in Hosea is a call to repentance. Uh, Hosea 14, one says, return, O Israel, to the Lord, your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Like, come on back, people. <laughs> You've been sinning and now you need to repent, right? Um, and in verse four, God starts telling what he will do when his people obey this call to repentance. He says in Hosea 14, 4, I will heal their apostasy. I will love them freely for my anger has turned from them. He will love them freely. I love that line. God loves us freely without holding back. His love is all encompassing and overwhelming. So what does that love look like? Well, this brings us to our verses for this entry. Hosea 14, five through six. I will be like the dew to Israel. He will blossom like the lily and take root like the cedars of Lebanon. His new branches will spread and his splendor will be like the olive tree. His fragrance like the forest of Lebanon. This, God's going to be like the dew to us. He'll, he'll cause us to blossom and take root. Picture these beautiful shady trees. When we turn to God in repentance, he transforms us into people who take root and grow who blossom and thrive. We become an instrument to bless others. Like the trees bless people with shade, protection, fruit, fragrance. It's so cool that these verses mention specifically the cedar and olive trees because these trees illustrate some pretty amazing truths about God. So I looked into the cedar tree and the cedar tree can survive over 300 years in the wild. It's very long lived and hardy. And these trees are survivors. When we repent and turn to him, God gives us eternity in return. So talk about very long lived, right? But while on earth, he enables us to be hardy survivors through the power of his Holy Spirit. The cedar tree also repels insects. 
you know, Satan will try to pester us. He'll try to distract us and come at us over and over again. But as we become more and more Christ-like, we also repel the devil and his tactics more. It, it doesn't shake us up as much when he comes against us as we become more Christ-like. I'm going to take a pause here before I talk about this olive tree. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking kind of a purpley, a dark purpley black um, and maybe a little bit of green sometimes in these olive clusters. You'll see, it's a little harder to see on camera, but you can see it certainly when you have the printable. There are little clusters of olives in amongst the leaves on these uh, hanging branches of the olive tree. So right now I'm coming in and I'm putting in the purpley black on these olives and let that sit for just a little bit uh, and so it's not super wet when I go in to do uh, the leaves on the olive tree. And those little tufts of grass and rocks and dirt underneath um, on the ground, I just kind of filled those in lightly and then added some shading around the grass. This is a pretty easy uh, watercolor printable. It looks complicated when you're tracing it because there's a lot there on the page, but as you start to watercolor, um, you can really um, have fun with this and not be too stressed because it's not a super hard water watercoloring project. Um, and now remember as you add in the green of the leaves and of these tree canopies just to kind of vary the types of greens you do. And here I'm adding, uh, you know, some of the olives would be ripe and some would not. And so I'm adding in some green um, to some of these olive clusters as well. Um, so to talk about the olive tree. Olive trees live even longer than cedar trees. They live for over a thousand years in some cases. Wow, that's amazing. They pass fruit on from generation to generation, providing for the people around them. And as we choose repentance, we influence future generations to do the same. Our children and their children can bear fruit from our decisions. Did you know that the olive branch is a symbol of peace, victory, and blessing? Peace, victory, and blessing is ours when we are obedient to God. Olive trees are resistant to drought and disease, even to fire. They're incredible survivors. No matter what this fallen and sinful world throws at us, we can stand strong in our faith and depend on God as our source. Our roots go deep and hold us in place when the storms come. And then this I thought was so amazing when he says, I will be like the dew to Israel in verse five. He will blossom like the lily and take root like the cedars of Lebanon. Interaction with God is meant to take place daily, like the dew each morning. He even says, I will be like the dew. We offer ourselves to him and receive from him daily, like the dew coming each morning. This is what makes us blossom and take root daily dependence on God. And see now I'm, I'm putting in the uh, kind of base coat for the leaf canopy on the cedar tree. And uh, just doing this with a basic green, a little bit of brown and yellow added into it, but not a ton. And I, I wanted to let those olives on the other tree dry while I did this one. I'm gonna mix up something a little darker to add in some shading. And um, you're really looking for the undersides of these leaf groupings. You want to think like the sun would be shining the brightest on the top of the tree. And then on the undersides of these leaf canopies, it would be darker because it would provide, it would be like shaded from uh, the source of the light, which is shining down from above. Um, so everywhere we would have this kind of darker area underneath this canopy that provides a little bit of depth to your water coloring. It kind of shows people where that light is coming from and what would be happening there. I also wanted to add a little bit of interest down at the bottom on the ground underneath these trees. And so I'm adding some of that color green uh, down here as well just because it felt a little flat to me, it, a little one-dimensional. So we're just adding in um, a bit of contrast to the ground down there. 
And you notice that I also put in a light uh, blue with the slight amount of green in it. Light blue sky kind of around the tops of the trees. Nothing dark. I wanted to leave that light. I think after I take the pictures and do the video, I'm, I'm going to come in with some personal thoughts and prayers in that big open space above. You could certainly um, do some a big word art or some notes about what these verses spoke to you. You could journal a prayer in that space. Um, you'll notice my pictures, my video, they're not going to have anything in that big space because uh, kind of my thoughts were a little more personal and I didn't want to put them on um, social media. But um, uh, yeah, we're, we're in a transition period of life right now in our house. Just on a personal note, we're, uh, my son is a, junior, a senior in high school and uh, looking at uh, going to college next year. My daughter's a freshman in high school and uh, we're just dealing with a lot of that uh, change, a lot of changes in life, uh, going on. And as an update to those of you who have been praying for me and, um, following kind of the email story, uh, that I've been sending to my subscribers, um, in the fall, I started dealing with pervasive joint pain and, um, exhaustion, just some other symptoms too, that weren't really explained. And, uh, have been going to doctor's appointments, having blood work, all that kind of uh, thing. And last week, I got a diagnosis of seroneg, or like blood negative, <laughs> um, rheumatoid arthritis. And so um, they put me on medicine. And guys, I am so thankful that God uh, gives people wisdom to create medicines that work. Because the medicine that they put me on has made a tremendous difference this week. Um, suddenly I can think clearer again. I can move without pain. I am not waking up feeling like I'm 95 years old. <laughs> I can climb stairs. I mean, it's just been a huge difference and like a weight has been lifted off of me. Um, since I started on this medication. So thank you so much for your prayers. Um, I did find out that this condition actually doesn't necessarily mean that it's permanent. It um, can be caused by any kind of virus or infection that uh, just confuses the immune system and um, gets it all out of whack. And so after a year, I'll go off of the medication and see if my immune system has straightened itself out and and at that point it may be perfectly fine and I may not have to take the medicine anymore or I may need to go back on the medicine but at this point I'm just so grateful that uh for God giving the doctor's wisdom and the wisdom to create this medicine because it has made a huge difference this week thank you guys for praying um, so our action step really quickly here, because I started rabbit trailing there. Uh, will you make a choice today to take root in the blessings of God, to repent and turn to him daily? When we do, we can be a blessing to the generations. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a burden or a problem for my kids or future grandkids. I may not have a lot of money to leave them, but I have this ability to make decisions. I can decide today to choose a Christ-centered lifestyle. I can choose today to repent and set an example of holiness for them. And how much better is a heritage of holiness than a bank account? Let's take root and bless the generations. So God, help us to take daily root in you, to keep coming back in repentance and connection to the Father. Help us to feel the blessing of your due in our lives and make us hearty and steadfast as we serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you've enjoyed this devotional and uh, this free principle and watercolor project here in Hosea. Have a great day.